Hey, everyone. Hello. Brandon. Uh-oh. Where are we at, well, and <laughs> how are we doing today? We are back in Hamburg for day two, and we are both extremely tired. Uh-huh. Full disclosure, we did not sleep well last night. And at least me, but Sarah too a little bit, losing our voices a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we're both feeling like very dry. We definitely very did dry. not hydrate enough, so we're feeling really dehydrated, not sick. We're actually just tired. So, yeah. We're not we don't feel sick at all. Feel extra tired. But it is day four of our Disney cruise and we are back in Hamburg. Yep. Today it's gonna be awesome. is gonna be a great day. We are it started off rainy. Um, but yep. the sun is peeking out now. Well, it's fully out now. Fully out now. And Heat us up. Nice and warm. And we're actually back at the, the city rat hall, the rat house. And we are going to try to go to breakfast at the newly opened version of the gluten-free bakery yep. that we went yesterday. Should be only about a two-minute walk, right? Yeah, it's yep. just around the corner from the Uniglow. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And then after breakfast, we're going to get back on the bus and go back to the cruise ship because we have an excursion in a little bit. Yeah. Like we said in our debrief for our last video, it's to a concentration camp. So we probably won't be showing much, if any of that. Right. So we will probably not show much of that, but we we'll do need to make yeah. sure we get back yep. in enough time so that we're ready to go for that. Yep. Ready to go eat? I need some coffee. Yeah. Let's go get some breakfast. Breakfast done. So good. So we ordered amazing. Too much. Yeah, the entrance is right there. Yeah, it's amazing. If you are coming to Hamburg, it's right here by the Rat House. It's the perfect spot. Indoor outdoor seating. And everything is gluten free. There's so much gluten free dairy free stuff. We got some stuff to go. I got a really pretty um like lemon meringue cake that they okay. recommended. And then also gluten free dairy free wow. croissants. Wow. I haven't tried it yet, but the pretzel bread is gluten free, gluten -free and it is amazing. We got one of those to go to. Phenomenal. Highest of high recommends. Highest of high. How was your uh, How was your breakfast? It I mean, so really much good. food, by the way. It was like an avocado toast. Um, I did have dairy on it. It had um, cream cheese, but um, really good. I actually really liked Brandon's. He had like a meat and cheese, like a sugar yeah. plate with bread. Oh, and the reason we so didn't walk in there is when we got in there, we opened it, and we no did. one else was in there. By the time our food came. This is why we didn't film as much. It was very, very crowded. And again, you guys know, especially overseas, we're trying not to be, we're trying to be as most unobtrusive as yeah, possible. Yeah, we want to be respectful. Yeah. And also it was, people were being quiet. It there was mostly like place. single people having coffee and pastries. Yep. So we wanted to be respectful, but 10 out of 10 recommend. I was just talking. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Yeah. I was just talking Hashtag to there it is. one of the employees there and I was saying I have celiac disease and she was like, that's why we opened this. And oh. she was like, yeah, so everybody can get, you know, enjoy. And if you're dairy free too, you can enjoy. So there's plenty of options. Highest of high recommend. Highest of high. And what's it called again, Sarah? Isabella's Hold gluten free <clears throat> patisserie. Excuse me, everyone. So good. So good. Highest of high recommends. Again, right here at the rat house or rat house. Everyone, if you're German, which I am actually, leave we a comment apologize. Yeah, we apologize. Um, but uh, but yeah, so 
highest of high recommends. We're both starting to wake up a little more. My throat doesn't hurt as much. It still hurts a little bit, but you doing better at all? Yeah, I'm doing a I'm little doing bit a better. better. Yep. So uh, we're heading back to the ship now. We're probably going to rest for about an hour, and then we got to go on the, Our the tour. tour again. We'll do a video right before we go on the tour, but we probably won't show the tour. Um, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Ready to head yeah. back to the ship? Let's go. All right. We made it back. We've been the most insane, craziest bus driver in the world. We've been on multiple buses now. So far, again, we'll do a full debrief at the end of our series. Um, so far, the shuttle buses have been pretty dang good. Everybody's been great, except, except for, for this guy who yeah. didn't know what he was doing. And this has nothing to do with, we're from a different country, visiting his, he, we he was bad. We, we knew how to get we back. We were actually telling him which Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> um, and again, German security at the port here is no joke. I'm not even putting my belt back on. This is my belt. Oh, yeah, I actually thought I could yeah. like this. Um, so, does everyone yeah, remember we... pants on the ground? Pants on the ground. Oh, no. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. Um, leave a comment if you remember American, American Psycho, American Idol. Is this it right here? Is it right here? Is it here? That's exit. Oh, yeah, we're getting this one here. Yep, we're here. So, there are multiple ways to get back on the Watch your step. So, we are back. We're heading up to our room. I'm going to jump over here. Frog in the pond, both hands in. Uh huh. Not both hands in, just frog in the pond. Gabby, can you show what I mean? Because I have a microphone. Frog in the pond. Frog in a log. Frog in a tree. Frog in space. Yes. So you have to repeat it. You have to look at me when I say it because it's not as cheating. And cheating is not Disney quality. Now, are you ready? Frog in the pond. Frog in the log. Frog in the tree. Frog in the log. Oops, some of y'all got busted, including Gabby. So long, farewell, I beat a saying goodbye, 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 and maybe later hi. At 45 or you will get left. Hey, why? Why? Because you'll get left. M-O-U-S-E. Yeah. Peace out, Dean Sprouts. We're back in our room, our stateroom, and we're both showered. I'm already in my pajamas, everyone. I am not in pajamas. Sarah's not. We'll see what happens this evening. But Sarah, um, really quick, we went to the concentration camp. We'll talk a little bit about it in the debrief. Um, it's very sad. Um, our tour guide was awesome, but again, stay tuned yeah, for Armin. that. Mm -hmm. Armin, Armin? Armin. Armin, yeah. Um, we'll get back to we'll get back to all that, um, and then we'll talk a little bit more detail about it in our debrief in the future, our full cruise debrief. But Sarah, take it away. What's going on in about 25 minutes? In about 25 minutes, we are actually going to be leaving Hamburg um, because this is what they're calling the inaugural sailing. I guess we were here 14 years ago, or DCL was here 14 years ago, but they're considering this is the first time in 14 years that's so kind of an inaugural sailing. So they're doing some festivities tonight to celebrate us leaving. We're going to have kind of, it sounds like a parade of marine vessels yeah. behind us or around us we are making a special trip to the elb philharmonie which is or elfy i think it is what okay, they call okay. it locally so it's like the concert hall it's a really beautiful um building we've shown i think some footage it some looks footage, like a yeah. wave um it's really beautiful things are already so, moving out oh, yeah, there already moving so I guess they're doing a big celebration. We get to go see that, and we're going to kind of wave mm -hmm. goodbye to the city and thank them for hosting us over the last two days. And then they're going to be playing the horns. Yep. Decks 11 and 12 are going to have drinks and a pianist and just awesome. lots of fun festivities to celebrate over the next kind of hour as we leave. Yeah. And the captain also said it's 75 miles down the river elbe and so Good it's going morning. to have a lot of he said really scenic views so he was like take it in throughout the night because it's going to be really pretty so he said there's gonna be lots to see so yeah 
I'm we are really excited. excited. We're I'm both so excited. There's, There's a both ship like going yeah, in circles. We'll get we'll go out and get footage. But that's what's going on. Let's head out to the the, yeah. the best and place to watch from the ship. Like our bio a, a boat over here with, and with like seating areas and stuff. Yeah, so they're gonna watch it, and it has um like steamboat wheels on it. What do you call those? If you look at it, you haven't seen it yet. Like a riverboat. Like a riverboat. It, they probably stole it from Disney World because they're getting rid of that. Oh. Oh no, what's no. going on? No, um, but no, we're heading out there in just a minute and we can't wait. Yeah, so because we have an F veranda mm -hmm. and we're we we're feeling kind of tired today, we're actually we also should say this, we're gonna skip dinner tonight. And I know, we've never done that actually. Never in years and, and twelve cruises. We're feeling very <clears throat> tired. This is day seven of our trip overall, so we're feeling we're exhausted. tired. We're exhausted. We're gonna get some room service and skip dinner because it's pirate night and the pirate menu yeah yeah pirate night um we're good with <laughs> oh can we really quickly i'm going around anywhere I'm going around, oh okay around, i don't need to move around. everything this is the first ceiling oh. with a new pirate band i'm gonna try this with the camera everyone i don't know how i feel about them but i like i like, them. I like how do they feel pirate mini because they feel higher quality than the other ones pirate mini is almost as good as captain mini but probably not right yeah, that's true. But um, these feel like a higher quality. Yeah, one. they are, and they're bigger. They're not yeah. like the little tiny ones. So I like the quality. I don't I'm know if I love the design. Readjusting. Yeah. Everyone. What in the world is happening, Graham? So want to point those out. We won't be wearing them. Maybe we will have our debrief. But Maybe. No pirate. Then our night next for... giveaway. Oh yeah, we could do that. Yep. No pirate night for us, but we are going to have plenty of chill time here tonight. Yep. We will do a debrief, and we are yep. going to show sort of the sail away and all of the festivities as we leave Hamburg, which has been amazing. Yeah, I keep looking over there because stuff is going on out there. You yeah, ready to go out? He's like, <laughs> ready to yeah, go and start looking? Amazing. Yes. All right. Incredible. Um, you can see behind us. There's a the fire vessel yeah. uh, tugboat. Boat. We don't know if it's actually going to push us or not, but um, it doesn't appear. Yeah, so. and that's where we were earlier. Over pointing towards the uh, terminal. Terminal is this and is incredible. They we're pass. heading this direction. We're actually going to go by the El Phil Hermoni right over there. Awesome. Yeah, and yeah, it's exciting. This is amazing. And they've been doing the horns like crazy. Like yeah. crazy. How many people go on a Disney cruise or any cruise and never get a chance for this? This is incredible. Yes. So amazing. That's amazing.
and we've just reached. You're going in a circle. This oh, is the concert hall. Concert oh my gosh. hall. Incredible. This is insane. You guys can't see it. You'll see it in the video. Um, there are hundreds, thousands of people yeah. lined up. All here. All there. Everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. It, this is amazing. It, yeah, I don't want to exaggerate and say the whole city has shut down for us, but a large chunk definitely has. Um, wow. Uh, and, uh, okay. Oh, and there, we were up. It's already gone. We were up in one of these towers. You'll see that. Um, all right. We're going to enjoy it. Bye. sorry for a disjointed video today kind of um sarah just started eating something and actually freaked out oh I, I turned this camera on very quickly this is like in the moment oh good what's going on first sarah let me zoom in here okay what so is this it's a lemon meringue tart gluten-free gluten-free it is so good it's also dairy-free by the way too whole Holy moly, so, so tart. The meringue is beautiful. Well, did we really talk about uh, that's that one of the things you got? Yep. The patisserie is 10, 11 out of 10. I think I agree. Um, it's, the breakfast was amazing both days. The desserts are incredible. They're beautiful. They're tasty. There's so many gluten free, dairy free, and allergy friendly options. If you are in any location in Germany that has this, and there's several of them, go. You need to go. And again, 100% gluten-free. Um, and when we went to the, well, we went to two total, but the one today in, um, correct Sarah, in the, the right house. outside the yeah. Rot House, uh, everyone, I'm saying that wrong, oh, I'm sorry. Right. But um, there were people in there speaking English, French, Spanish, yeah. uh, German. Every. So don't ever be afraid to go in, especially here in Hamburg. We'll do a full debrief, like yeah. I said, a, a week from now or whenever these are posted. But uh, people are so friendly. People are so friendly for, and the, mo for the most and, part. And most people do speak English. Yep. So um, you won't have any problem, especially if that location is right in a touristy area. So yep. it's super easy. But this is delicious. Don't Phenomenal. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad she talked me into this one. Oh, it's, it's a little so bit. Oh, so good. I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to bed. Yeah, it's uh, we are going to bed early. And, well, we're gonna debrief in a minute. All right, so it's delicious. So good. All right, finish it up. So good. Hashtag there it is. All right. Yeah. Arg, it's pirate night in our bedrooms. While I look for that booty. Wow. All right, so it is our debrief. What a day. What a day. What a blessed two days. I've been so much stuff. Like, all the things like 20,000 steps a day if not more it's been really exhausting tiring we're actually sunburned oh, yeah. um we're actually like we said skipping dinner tonight i say all of that to say this i would do it all over again yeah and Brandon is about to go to bed yeah sarah's probably gonna stay up listening to some podcast or an audio book or something like that um I, I i'm going to sleep as a matter of fact everyone tonight so you get a review tomorrow. Have we done it before? I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. We're pulling this down so Sarah can sit in bed and listen to her podcast and everything. And mm -hmm. I'm going to curl up over here because as soon as we're done filming this, he's going to shut the blinds. I'm the shutting screen. these. There's a huge divider in here that we've <laughs> maybe used before. I, I have no memory if we have. Um, and I'm going to bed because anyway, we've said it. Let's get on with the debrief because today was amazing we know this might be a shorter video in the series we'll see in editing how that comes out but um sarah take it away and uh well how did it start out we've talked a lot about the gluten-free mm -hmm. bakery place restaurant but uh just yeah. want to wrap it up really quick yeah i wish we could have filmed in the restaurant today but it was oh just, i do too we wanted to be respectful everybody else was being chill and quiet it is a gorgeous restaurant it is a great new addition to the city i'm glad they decided to do a full restaurant instead of just the pop-up yeah. but Highest of high recommends, which we just said when I had my lemon ring um, tart. Definitely check it out. That breakfast was phenomenal. 
everything is gluten free. So much is also dairy free. Lots is vegan. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of great options and it's such a good option if you are yep. in the city and you're looking for things and it's very convenient. Yeah, it was amazing. I, tr I told Sarah this like hours later. I wish I would have been more awake. You guys know if you follow the channel regularly, I, even on a vacation, I don't like getting up in the morning. You don't. Sarah will say it. It takes me two to three hours to really get going and get in the mood. I'm a, I'm, I'm very lethargic in the morning. Um, so I think if we were here in Hamburg one more day, I wouldn't go there in the morning. I'd wait till we're up and active, and then I'd say, Sarah, let's go, and we would spend an hour or two in there just eating yeah. everything. It was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, my dish, whatever it was, was incredible. Oh, oh, we have footage that um the pretzel roll yeah you brought one back with us oh oh my oh my hamburg yeah so it was absolutely delicious but it was great we went into the city just for that we got some photos there too we went mm -hmm. back to the rat house and everything um which i'm sure we're missing yeah, the rat house it was um, a great little mini trip this morning yeah, with the worst bus driver on the way back yeah well we said that before we already said that um but it was a great way to start the day. I'm yeah. really glad that we made the trip to go back there because yeah. at first I was like, why are we doing this? And now I'm like, it was a good idea. It was, it was great. If you're in Hamburg or anywhere, you must go there. Or anywhere, anywhere where they have these yeah, places, you must go. You must go. But if you're in Hamburg, just go. You won't have an issue. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are not afraid at all of traveling the world and doing whatever. We have many friends mm -hmm. that put us to shame, put just to shame. But even if because it would be me if I were by myself. If you're scared or you're hesitant, you have my word. It's not a place you need to be. If you're here by yourself, find it and go in. Yeah, you won't have an issue. Easy. Yep. So that was amazing. Yep. And then what did we do? We then we went to okay, the. Right. I'm gonna say it wrong. Nangama. N Nangama. Nangama. Um. um it's yep. the. Concentration, concentration camp. camp. We, I, we should talk about it for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. um, we, there are pro not probably, we know it. They have a great website, by the way. It was not against any rules to video there, to take photos there. They encourage it. They don't encourage it, but no one, no one cares. Right. Um, we probably total between the two of us took 10 photos, maybe. Um, not with us in them, just photos of, right. for mem uh, so we can one day look back or something. Mm -hmm. We say we've been there. Um, it was humbling, and um, our tour guide, who, of course, is German, and I believe he's from Hamburg here. Yes. Um, he, he said some stuff that even at my advanced age of 25, um, it, it hit me. Um, like yeah, for, powerful. It's powerful stuff he was saying because, you know, no country, not going to get deep here, but no country should be afraid to be very proud of who they are. Uh, proud of the people you are now, but not be afraid to look at the past and say we screwed up. We screwed up big time sometimes, yeah. uh, and probably every country on earth, including the United States, can does and should say that. Uh, Germany fully says that, mm -hmm. um, and this really hit at home. Uh, it's all over their cities here. Yes, absolutely. But um, anything about it that uh, you want to stick. Again, we can talk about it for a minute. Um, yeah. that you want to say about it or anything? I think for me, it was very educational in that I didn't fully understand, even though we've learned about so much of this in oh, yeah. school yeah. over the years. I hope you have still. The difference between sort of the labor camps that were here in Germany and the death camps death that camps. were throughout Europe and understanding the impact of both of those, both devastating and horrifying yeah. and... It was definitely very interesting to learn the context about how it impacted everyone in this surrounding area yeah. and continues to impact people yeah. um, over time. Yeah, um, it was very interesting. I probably have in my life at some point before, but to talk about it with a German who said something at the very end, Sarah, you'll remember this. Mm -hmm. He said when he was growing up as a kid, he's almost... He had to have just by default shaken hands with and been neighbors with SS officers and everything like that due to his age and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing he said, I'm going to say it and then we'll move on. But it, it got me. I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm trying to joke because it's really sad and we all want to cry again. But um, before we even got there, he was telling us 
uh, that camp was liberated by the British. Um, Americans didn't liberate that particular camp. Um, I think British, Canadians, I think he said Ukrainians as well, and Russians or yeah. whatever, um, liberated it. And then they liberate, I mean, all of Hamburg. Um, but he said something as a German from Hamburg. He said, you, you being us on the bus there with him, you liberated us from ourselves. Yeah. Holy crud, how powerful is that? Yeah. Um, th th those are words. Those are words I, I couldn't come up with. But um, we're going to move on. We won't show footage of that here. No. But I would say if you are coming to Hamburg right. and you are looking to do something like this, it was a three-hour tour. It is very quick. But very it is quick, also, it was something that we felt we really wanted to do. Yep. And we would encourage you, if it's something that you think um, you would want to go to, I would definitely encourage you to do that. I also would really quickly mention it is not very um, accessible. So do know that if you are coming there with accessibility needs, it is oh, yeah, very yeah. difficult accessibility wise. It was difficult for us. Right. There so was a lot of areas rocks that were rocks. Yeah. So just know that. Um, also, um, this particular tour was adults only. So we could not How have any children. Okay, yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. So I just, I learned something new. Yep. Um, but yeah, if, if we're, we're ambulatory. And we had trouble walking on some of the, well, anyway, there's a lot of rocks around that are very uneven. Yeah. So, um, but it was an amazing, amazing tour. I think if we visited here again, I, I'd either do the tour again or rent a car or get an Uber yeah, or a it taxi. It's free. It's free. It is free. Um, Not and, the tour we did, but if you yeah. go by yourself, it is free to yeah. go to. And it is quite large. So Huge. You, could, you could go there and yeah. spend a good it, amount of time. Yeah. Um, Anyway, we'll move on. Um, maybe we'll talk briefly about it again in our whole cruise debrief, um, you know, at the end of the series. But we're going to leave that here for now. Yeah. Do you have any last minute stuff on it? No, other than Humbling. while it was really tough to go to, I'm really glad that we did go to do it. Yeah, it was every movies you've seen, documentaries, books. And like I said, hopefully you're learning about it in yeah. school. We did growing up um, to put your feet there and touch the walls mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh yeah, it was a labor camp, but over 50,000 people died yeah, there. That's horrifying. So, um, and it really broke anyway. the gap between St. Nikolai Memorial, which we saw in the devastation of no. um, the Hamburg. The itself. Allied raids the, yeah, in Hamburg. Yeah, yeah, so it really put a lot of <laughs> those me. things together in context. So I thought that that was yeah, also, all again, horrifying and deeply sad and really good to go to. Yeah, so awesome tour very sad tour awesome tour guide we had again very the one thing i said was just one thing he, he had some powerful punches in there um very sounded very well educated and thoughtful about the entire topic of germany dealing with the holocaust and world war ii mm -hmm. and everything so moving on better better things what did we do next we came back let's let's move on and be happy yeah i think other than that we've got to see this amazing I guess I didn't realize we were going to have so much of an exciting sale out. It's still going on. It's still going on out there. It's still going um, on. And it's dark out. Yeah. And I just couldn't believe we got like this incredible like hour and a half of like going into the harbor of Hamburg. All of the people that came out mm -hmm. to see the Disney dream. Yeah. It was so cool. People everywhere <laughs> waving, cheering, yep. people on boats, people on the shore. Incredible. And then just the incredible views of Hamburg, just seeing it from that different vantage point, yep. from being there you know, in person on the ground, but then also on the water was really and cool. The, and the fire ship out there, yeah. squirt water. And I took footage earlier. It's probably, will be inserted with uh, some music or something. Sarah hasn't seen it yet. But um, I brought up fire ships. Does everyone remember Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith? They're on General Grievous' ship. It breaks in half. Obi-Wan's like, we're still flying half a ship. You guys know the dialogue. It's a classic film. Um, as they're coming down into the Cor Coruscant atmosphere, flames are all over the ship. And other little ships arrive and start squirting water on them as they're landing. And um, Obi-Wan says, fire ships on the left and right. That's it. So even in Star Wars, there's fire ships. On the left and right? And left and right to okay. make sure. Um, and the name of General Grievous' ship was the Invisible Hand. There you go. Anyway, it, this has been incredible. It was incredible. Incredible. And what, the, yeah, it was just a cool way to kind of wrap up the two days yeah. here. And just such a warm welcome from all of the people in Hamburg. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad we got to go here and do something that Disney hasn't done yeah. in apparently 14 years. So yeah. really the first time in a very, very, very long time. Yeah. And I don't, I would have to double check, but I don't think Disney's going back there next year. 
I'm when will they be back they, next? Do we know? I don't know. Well, I'm glad we're, I I'm glad we're here now because... I don't know if they're coming back this next year. Because well, Hamburg has been exceptional. It's been kind. It's been generous. The, it being the people. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It's beyond historic. Um, it's sad. Yeah, contemporary. It's, it makes you want to weep and cry, yeah. but also smile and love at the same time. Well, you can see all the things that they've, yep. you know, grown and evolved from. They are, they try to be a very green city and... Even today, although it wasn't related to our excursion, um, our tour guide was talking a little bit. Oh yeah, bit we can talk about, about this. It, yeah, too. wasn't related to the excursion. Yeah, some of the different so, yeah. some of the different things about the environmental impacts, not only from the harbor but also just other things over time and things that they're trying to do yeah. to help make it better for everybody. Yeah, he was very informative. Again, not necessarily about the concentration uh, that too, but um, very informative mm -hmm. about wind energy, nuclear energy coal and, just, and what Hamburg's growing towards. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, he brought up the mistakes they've made mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, and he brought up that, hey, it's great for him now, but future generations are going to pay for what they're doing now in terms of the money they're spending to fix things that won't be fixed 30 years from now. Right. Um, and stuff they've done very well, too, by the way. Stuff yeah. that they're like, all right, we did it. Um, so, no, Hamburg has been incredible. I am all over, again, falling in love with Europe. Um, anyway, yeah. While we were cruising out out to sea, uh, we got food, room service. Oh, we did. We got room service. We'll show some footage. I just got some gluten-free, allergy-friendly chicken nuggets. So they are different than what I got the other day, but still delicious with french fries. Brandon, you got a cheeseburger. Just got a cheeseburger and delicious fries. Yeah, and... And a Coke. Don't be afraid to try to order something from room service. Most of it's free. They immediately ask about allergies. If mm -hmm. they don't, let them know. Um, and even throughout the time, she was like, we will make sure it gets double checked. Even when they brought it to the room, they, they had everything. They listed all of the allergies, both of them, for both of us. And yeah, it yep. worked out great. And no issues as always. It was a good way to kind of just wind down from a busy couple of days and just feeling tired after seven days of traveling. Exhausted. Just take a little, take a little bit of downtime. Yeah, this is your day three or four of our, four, what day is this for our cruise? Day four. four. This is day four of the cruise. But we've been traveling because we had London for three days. So this is day seven of our vacation. Yeah. Um, and it's time for, for both of us. But for me, almost in the next five minutes, it's time for a long sleep through the night. Yeah. So tomorrow is a yep. sea day. We love sea days. Especially we, right now. Yeah. We are going to take it real easy. So it might be a shorter video. It might be kind of a hashtag chillax video. But we are going to show you Paulo dinner because we are going to Paulo for dinner this cruise. That so okay. good. We'll talk more about it tomorrow. We always have a lot to say about Paulo. Yeah. We're not Remy will be. What am I saying? Well, Re we haven't done dinner in a while. Yeah, we haven't done dinner in a while. Uh, Remy will be in two months on the fantasy. We are doing so Remy. There's spoiler. a coming soon spoiler. Um, but Paulo is tomorrow for dinner. We usually do brunch at Paulo. Mm -hmm. We are doing it for dinner. We're Platinum Club. Uh, Castaway Club level, mm -hmm. so we get a free Palo. Uh, well, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Let's move on. Yeah. So with that, with that, I hope you it. enjoyed the video. Yep. We I hope that it's informative. Kids are getting excited for Pirate Night out there. Yeah. Uh, let they us know if you have questions, yep. something we didn't fully explain, or something mm -hmm. you want to know more about in the comments. If you've been to Hamburg, let us know what your experience was, what you yep. what you loved about it, and with that, we're gonna. We're going to tuck Brandon in to his temporary couch. Bed. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> we'll see We'll see how this goes, but um, I refuse to go to bed now and make Sarah go to bed, too. That's that's not fair. That's not how we roll. Um, but thank you to our patrons on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Um, as this series, as a series, as this vacation has gone on, we have been uploading to Patreon. So for the Fantasy Cruise, for example, we'll see what we can do with that because we're going to a different location. But um, if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff or something, join our Patreon. Um, potato holders, thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, thank you to our subscribers. I mean, let's just be blunt. The subscribers and the viewers are the primary way that we grow. Um, so thank you. Sarah's just smiling. Like, yeah, wrap it yeah. up. No, um, but thank you. And like Sarah already said it, leave a comment below about Hamburg, about the cruise, about Disney, about anything you want. Um, we will answer. Yep. With that, that? Yep. Yeah. Time to go. Yar. Yar. Bye. Bye.